Hello, Walter McCone here. Um, <clears throat> I'm just at the British School of Osteopathy Library. Um, people are asking me um, what was central to A.T. Still's success as a, as a well, as the osteopath. Um, he wrote it, um, and I'm just going to read it off the screen here because it's from an old file. This was written in um, 1898, actually, what was, it, what was it, November 1898, in the Journal of Osteopathy. And he termed it the intuitive consciousness. This is what we don't use anymore. <clears throat> this is what A.T. still wrote. By following a study with practical training, a person becomes acquainted with the principles of such fullness that he can do good work in all parts and feels no further effort will be required. He does his work well and feels so because of his being master of his trade by practical experience. That's an interesting term and close observation to the study while an apprentice, so while you're actually learning. Another person um, of his apprentice class who never lost an hour cannot do as good work and lives a life of confused labour, but stands about par in all other branches. The first man has obtained from study something that the second man has not. Um, the first drives through all kinds of difficult problems with ease, while number two is almost a failure in all places. Why the difference? Perhaps number one has worked for and obtained intuitive consciousness, or made all subjects to his mind beings of life. Now there's an interesting term, beings of life. They live under laws made for their being. He who succeeds must study the law of all pursuits or trades. That means everything. To observe and obey is the only way to succeed. He does succeed by obedience to such laws until mind and body becomes equally sensitive. Now there's an interesting term. Mind and body becomes equally sensitive to the fact that man must feel that he is right before he can be successful. By the law of knowledge and intuition, all persons do succeed. Shall I read that again? By the law of knowledge and intuition, all persons do succeed. Thus, we shall not be satisfied to know that we are right, but feel so, and act with energy to suit, and our successes will grow with time. So there's a bit about experience there. We must feel an interest in all we do, or we will always eat at the table of dis disappointment. Okay, so that was from Andrew Taylor Still. I hope that helps.